so here import csv means csv dot reader writer function i am using it that's why i have imported now i am creating a file here stud one dot csv now append mode i have opened it so i can write in that file then writer function will open in that mode it will ask the user how many records you want to enter then using a for loop i am taking the record and the data from the user those datas i am putting in a list and that list i am writing in this file stud1 dot that now stud1 dot that till now i have an i haven't executed so stud1 dot that is not present now when i will execute it same thing for reading and displaying it i will open the file in read mode i will use the reader function to read all the contents of the file and then i will use a for loop so that i can display one by one record and then i will close it now when you are running this file enter the number of students suppose three students i want to enter roll number 1 Roll number one is suppose Ria ninety nine. Roll number two is suppose ninety eight. And roll number three is suppose. Now three names I have entered. You can see here it is displaying here with this list because I haven't used here new line. here you haven't seen any new line i haven't used here new line so if you don't use a new line here it will show like this like here if you see the other quotes if i use this new line then it will not show so i will use new line here now when i will execute it again i am executing it now one student only i want to enter roll number 4 roll number 4 can be ira and marks can be 97 first let us execute it then i am explaining it what problem was there so i am executing it first this one now number of students 2 1 roll number 1 marks roll number 2 2 marks and now it is correct yes now it is perfect so this is your program now new line you have to use so that it will come to the next line and that problem which it was showing in my previous one that is this problem it is not showing that is it is not skipping that one line extra line it is not showing so this is csv file in which the rest is same as binary only here import csv instead of import pickle you have to write then f equals to open name of the file dot csv in append mode only a you have to write and then this i have to use so that my output is displayed properly you have seen what difference was there when i was not using new line now writer will open in write mode how many numbers so here this is using for loop you can use the while method which is given in your ncert book that method so next class we will do one thing this is easiest method so this you try it if you can use while one also so that also you can do it so here we will put the datas in a list then we will write it and while putting the datas you cannot use the quotes double quotes if you use then it will be as it is entered as it is now we are reading from the file same file and then reader we have used to store in a variable stud and then for i instead and like this now the same program menu driven you have to make it so for menu driven what you have to do is menu driven what you have to do only here def writing in a file you will do it and you will put this inside this so over now the next one is display so def display and we are putting inside this and for search also 
only if you will use and you will check it. So here I am using the search function. This is the third function which is searching. And in search after collecting it you have to use if then you have to check here like student number you want to check with so the roll number you will ask the user to enter and if you find it then you will print found record found so you have to collect the roll number from the user so i will use here input function to collect from user so enter roll number to search this is over now we will write the menu driven for main program i am just copying it as just now i have written so i am copying it from here yes now same thing csv file clear now look uh, student 3 i am just writing here searching in my computer student 3 and it is created already created okay so student 3 is already created better i will change the name now to student 4 uh, fourth table i am creating here and i just want to show you that it is not present in my computer student 4 yes now student 4 is not present in my computer you have seen so now i am running this program so this is my complete csv program i am running it it is showing the menu now one now enter the number of students two students roll number is one name is marxist then roll number two to name is and mark says this much now two will be displaying it so it is displaying both the records correct it is three may show all right let us check it if it roll number to search two so it is not showing the output yes now see why it is not showing the output you have seen the output it is showing in string form and i am taking here int so here you have seen that i have used here int and it is showing the output in string form so what either you can change the string to here you can write int and then you can check it or you can take the input like that so any method you can use either you can use here if you are taking int input enter roll number so i will convert this i0 to int so int i will write and then i will check it. so let's see now if it is running or not so this only search i will show you yes now i am executing it now search let us check whether it is getting executed roll number two i want to search yes now it is getting executed clear so this was your csv file in which each element now you check here also stud four till now it was not showing stud four now you can see here stud four this is your excel file in which just now one ria 88 and two raj 77 i have entered it is showing here clear now if i enter here some data suppose three i am entering here some data and i want to show you there so i want to enter here suppose era and marks is 66 save now after saving only it will show here so when i am seeing here i am entering here two to display now it will show all the three datas you can see one two three it is showing the third one in excel i have entered so this is your csv comma separated values in notepad also you can 
see those files now here if you are writing it is displayed there there you are writing you can see from here suppose here i want